Good morning. So Dave and I, we're about to go on our, our first cruise. cruise. And we'll tell you more about that when we take you up to our room because we can't wait to show you what our room looks like. What's up you guys so Dave and I we're on our very first cruise and we're super excited and it happens to be on the world's largest cruise ship class the Oasis of the Seas and it's a Canada cruise so we're gonna be diving into what this ship has to offer and from some staff members they told us there have been some upgrades but we're, we're gonna check that out and we're also gonna be stopping in two ports we're gonna be in St. John's to explore what they have to offer and Halifax but of course we got to explore as much as we can so we don't get left <laughs> The ship doesn't leave without us. So I am very excited. I know Dave's excited. Dave, are you excited? Oh, I'm excited. This is, this, is, this is like a small city on this ship, so there's a lot to see. There is a lot yeah, to see. And I, I think we are going to have a lot of fun, but I'm starving and first. Coffee! <laughs> oh, we're definitely gonna share with you a lot of the food the ship has to offer. They have a ton of great restaurants and the shows and entertainment we hear are excellent. We'll share that with you as well. Now, one thing's for sure, it is really windy out here today, so we're trying to pick our spot. But it's definitely a, a windy day out in the ocean. Wind. I left a... Oh, Jack! 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 Oh, Jack. Oh, geez. Don't even say that. <laughs> I know. I mean, we wore our bathing suits to really try out the swimming, but it is so windy and it's kind of cold as we're heading into Canada. But the water, is it warm? Oh, it's warm, it's yeah. Warm. Definitely warm. Oh, oh, it's like bathtub warm. Exactly. <gasps> oh, so we might be able to. And do plus this. the hot tubs. I mean, there's a lot of nice hot tubs too. Okay, so there will be a hot tub night <laughs> <laughs> under the stars and the freezing uh, preferably, breeze. Preferably away from the wind. I like Here it's really uh, quite smooth. <laughs> yeah, of, course, of course, we have not uh, headed out yet. <laughs> Just getting started. A little miniature golf behind you. I was trying to tease that. Yes. <laughs> Our first cruise win. It's, we're ready. We're set sail. <laughs> yeah, set sail. Heading on out. We just said bye to Lady Liberty. And now we have a nice little military ship, an old military ship, escorting us off. Next up is Verrazano Bridge, right, right? And I and feel like, I thought this is going to be great. I feel like um, my balance is there. Well, if we um, stay in here, <laughs> if we stay in here, it's really smooth. Once we go out into the uh, open ocean, it's going to be smooth. It's Fingers crossed. Smooth. Fingers crossed. So this is awesome because we're on the world's, I guess the world's largest class ship, right? That's true. Yes, yeah, so it's, it's the oasis of the seas is the world's largest class. So well, you, yeah, it used to be the world's largest ship, and now it has some sister ships, right? That yeah. is a tiny bit bigger in terms of capacity. Yeah. And it's still yeah. the top five. This is what we're I mean, come on. You can't, yeah. you can't beat this. And I need a cocktail right about now. That would be great. <laughs> Welcome to our king stateroom here, our king bed stateroom. It's really nice. We actually have a balcony with an amazing view. But you know what? Instead of us taking you on this grand tour, because it's a small room, why don't you take a look at it for yourself? 
Oh, and y'all, this is a special delivery right here that came from our friends. Thank you so much, Tammy and Kermit. Thank you so much. Dave, are you in this closet? Dave, where are you hiding? Nope. Uh, uh, oh, there he is, you guys. Dave is out there enjoying a cocktail, and he has one for me. All right, this oh, is the place to be, babe. The place to be? Like right out here. Hey, cheers to that on our own deck. Yeah. Cheers. Uh, we're gonna come back to this, but there is just one final piece before we can conclude this room tour. So now we've never been on a cruise, so I don't know what these beds feel like, you know? There's only one true way to determine this king bed's comfortability. That's what, Dave? Well, that's the bed test, of course. That's right, y'all. It's time. Mm -hmm. What the bed test? for coffee it looks like we're gonna stop at cafe promenade I really love the fact that they have this app this app really kind of makes things easy from dining to like you know beverages to shows and I noticed the ones that are kind of part of your package don't have a dollar sign and everything that has a dollar sign just means extra cost now I'm sure you cruisers all know this but for you beginners it's really nice to have and uh, I think a latte is in order right Dave I agree <laughs> punch I saw that one of the guests had the rum punch and it's actually the bartender and the um, the guest said the rum punch the rum is actually from the ship it's a ship's rum I'm not sure what that means but I'm gonna give it a shot Ooh, that is really good it's sweet but it's good you know I like my drinks a little bit more of a, a little punch to it but I think it's nice it feels great because it's part of the cruise it's like you're on the ship, you want to have a fun, fruity, first cruise drink. And at the same time, I uh, we have a deluxe package, you know, where you have all you can drink. I think it's all you can drink. Drink, and you zap it with this. You zap and drink. Mm. Zap and drink. That's right, and drink responsibly. Mm. Well, I'm not driving, so <laughs> I think I'm responsible already. <laughs> Drinking plenty of water too. <laughs>
What did you get? Well, of course, I got the Malibu Bay Breeze, babe. Uh, that girly drinky, <laughs> right? so delicious. Not quite the old fashioned that I normally get. That's true. But it seemed pretty appropriate for this one. It's appropriate for the cruise light. All right, let exactly. me see what you think. Let me tell you what you think. How, how's that breezing for you? Yeah, it's a little sweet, but it's refreshing. It's good. Uh, I'm all in. I'm all in. Like your wife. Uh, well said. <laughs> what she said. She said it better. We've arrived at our first port, St. John's. You can see the ship back here. It's, I am amazed at how it kind of comes right into the city. It looks like it's just there's no water between the boat um, you know, and basically the pavement, which is pretty incredible. But today we're doing, it was really hard to get an excursion. So definitely tip, you know, we're newbies. We came on board and we weren't ready to kind of go on there right away and book our excursions, but then they were filling up very quickly. But uh, we have actually the highlights of St. John's and the Bay of Fundy today, so it should be a lot of fun. It's our first excursion off on the boat, and you kind of see it's a beautiful day here in St. John, New Brunswick. There's Tanya over there. Getting ready. just entered the reality of large ship. Uh, yeah, large ship excursions. excursions. <laughs> yeah, we have five, apparently there's five uh, large tour buses. Five this large tour buses. So it's a huge group. Oh, my. Oh. You see line, oops, kind of lining in to come on up. This is all for the highlights tour. So I'm not sure if this is like the best of the best or what was left. <laughs> my dad was born and brought up here. His dad was born and brought up here. His dad was born and brought up here. <laughs> After that, my genealogy gets foggy and I don't know exactly where they came from, but I do know that my line of family came from Scotland to fight against the French at the Battle of the Plains of Abraham in the 1650s. Wow. And you may have heard this, it happened a lot back then. We were Scots. <laughs> it might have been a stolen sheep or something. Yeah. <laughs> down right now to check out this little overlooking pier. So at the Bay of Fundy here, it's really cool because at certain points of the day, when the tide and the bay shift from high tides to low tides, the actual uh, sort of river just changes directions. So right now it's sort of at the standstill because it's getting, oh, and I see some coriander's. Really cool. So if we were to come back a little later on a certain part of the day, this flowing sort of rapidy river that's going this direction would be changing directions with so much force. Ah, I wish I could totally see that. But this is the Bay of Fundy.
Maybe it's maybe uh, somebody will come here and try to do some kayaking. Oh man! Get ready for white. Fun. Gotta get ready for whitewater kayaking. I love to, I love to see it when it's really ripping. Oh yeah. Right. So I guess in uh, a couple hours or so it'll be like ripping the other direction. I know. Out to the Bay of Fundy. Ah. Uh, crazy. But you know, I, 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 that would be a challenge. Oh god, you probably can't even. My arms would be strong like yeah. bull. And I'm sure it's I'm sure it's very dangerous, <laughs> right? When it's really coming. I'd love to see it though. You have to see it, but. You need, but this is one reality of kind of the excursions, right? With the yes. crew, you have like, you know, we have like 20 minutes 20 here, minutes. or not even, yeah. right, to come check 15, it out. 15, actually. Yeah, exactly, 15 minutes. Yeah. Get back on the bus. Get back on the bus. But, but I gotta say, I mean, our tour guide is so knowledgeable. Oh, he's so lived here for generations. Yeah, so really interesting. guy to be exceptionally knowledgeable like you're saying before and just you know you're you don't have much time to really enjoy all of the area um, being on a cruise ship but I think having someone like him and as knowledgeable as he is kind of really slowly breaking down the information of each place we've gone to it's just incredible don't you think Dave? oh absolutely I think it's great and plus I mean this day we have out here I know it's absolutely amazing the sun is shining Bienvenue. U-boats are coming in. Look at that. That's a great view. Ready for battle. Beautiful view of our ship over here. Right. But it's in the line of fire. This kind of Just walk here on the pier. It's actually very beautiful. I wish I had more time, but I'm enjoying the time that I have. I can actually start to see, you're starting to see some of the uh, change from the river and the harbor. They're starting to kind of fight for a position of flow. <laughs> I get to walk through this kind of a little bit like Quincy Market. Market. That's yeah, that, exactly right. That area, yeah. So you think it's gonna have some delicious seafood then, huh? I have a night, yeah. Quincy Market style. Oh. Oh yeah. This is cool. I think, like you mentioned earlier, it kind of reminds you of the, you know, the Quincy Market. Quincy Market a little bit, yeah. Right. All the different like food restaurants, little shops. Oh, there's a fish market. I know. Oh, we got some chowder. Oh, you're gonna do it all. I feel like these are sort of... Right, and all these crafts and things. Yeah, like mom and pop places, little crafts. Yeah. The good thing is we're not loading anything up on a plane, so if we see something we like, we just might be able to get it. <laughs> That's a good Woo! point, exactly. <laughs> I gotta get rid of the taste. Uh oh. It makes me a little nervous. Uh oh. Get well, yeah. rid of the taste. It's really good. You ain't trying this until you try that. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it is. So you gotta try, you gotta try this first. Yeah, yeah. Then you can try some of the good stuff. Try the, yeah, the sweeter. Let's try to eat. 
And this is okay. pure maple syrup. Yeah, you gotta try the seaweed first. And then you, then you gotta uh, get the flavor out of your mouth. Seaweed first and the butter. Okay. okay, guys, try the seaweed first. Try the seaweed combination. You know, it's funny, our first excursion, and I could definitely see in the future, potentially, we could actually go to, you know, look at the city. Yeah. And see what tours are, like, on our own, and kind of book them on our own, potentially. Oh, for sure. So you get almost, like, a smaller, because that was a huge, we had five busloads. Five busloads. Right? That's crazy. And you only had, like, 15, 20 minutes yeah. in each spot, so there's so much to see and do, which I'm sure we, like you said, we'd have more time to do that, but we do have to get ready for a very special dinner. All right, I'm excited. Mmm, awesome. it's going to be fun. Can we go to see this place? Fifteen, babe. Fifteen. Time for a special dinner. Oh, it's uh, time. Uh, oh, okay, in front of the doors, the windows. I'm excited. It's supposed to be like a wine pairing thing going on. No, I think right, it's kinda. an additional, like a hundred bucks a person, but it's supposed to be a really great experience, what we've heard. I'm excited. I like to pair my food with different wines. It almost reminds me of a little of the uh, Hell's right, Kitchen vibe. This is our, our, our upgraded dinner our upgraded of the trip. upgraded dinner. Right? What's it called? What? Chef's, Chef's Tot? Table. Chef's Table. Chef's Table. And which way do we go? Uh, let's go to the right here. To I think I have to right. go outside for a little bit. Oh, we can go outside. Might be a bit chill chill. I think it's around I here. I think I'll just follow you. Okay, yeah, we'll see. We'll just follow you. See if we can find it. Oh, oh, thank you. Wow, with a little That's maze a nice on top. Thank you. Please, on the red carpet. Oh, the red carpet. Oh, okay, here we go. Right through here. Oh wow, very fancy. So welcome to Chef's Table. So we'll keep it kind of brief because we're with a wonderful group that we like to have conversations with versus the camera. But we're gonna have a, uh, looks like it's five courses, five selection of wines. We started off with a little champagne and mint, which is fairly new to my palate concept, but maybe there's a reason behind it, we'll find out. But I'm really excited. What about you, Dave? I'm definitely excited, it's gonna be yeah? awesome. Did you build up an appetite? Because I built up an appetite. Well, I hope so. Mm, well, we got a five course meal coming our way, non and plus dessert at the end. Well, I see a couple of things you might not be a fan of, which I know I'll get seconds. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Main lobster salad, a little vinegar, you know, vanilla dressing, pineapples. Um, it's actually very good, very good. I think when I thinking about it by itself, the chef came out and said, "Try it with all three: the heart of palms, the pineapple, the, the lobster with the dressing." I tasted the dressing initially, and it didn't actually have that vanilla hue. I wasn't sure where it was coming from, but putting all three together, it was like a smorgasbord of sensation all in my mouth. <laughs> That's uh, quite a smorgasbord. Right? <laughs> Just don't get too close because I don't want to see the lobster all in my mouth. Dinner was so delicious. Dave and I really enjoyed our dinner. But now, the best place to be right now is on our deck. Woo, trying to catch our breath because we actually took the stairs to get down here. But the best place to be right now is on the deck. Because look at that sunset. <laughs> you guys, that's incredible.
good morning from our beautiful deck here on the Oasis of the Seas. So we are on our way today to Halifax, Nova Scotia. And we actually woke up to a strong smell of smoke and emergency alerts all over our phone. And apparently Halifax is under some extreme wildfires and you can really smell the smoke. As a matter of fact, take a look over here. Look at this. You can see it off in the distance and you might not, but all that in the back, all that over there, that's just the line of smoke all the way around. And it's pretty significant as you're, uh, you know, sitting on the deck here, you can smell that. But we were afraid, there we go. So we were afraid we weren't gonna be able to uh, head off onto our excursions, but the captain made an announcement that looks like we are gonna be able to head off on our excursions. Um, the significance of the smells coming out more into the, the, the ocean area. So we should be able to enjoy our tour today in Halifax. So we'll see. It was a little scary at first, but I'm glad uh, that um, I just hope the wildfires aren't going to, you know, like the California wildfires can be pretty extreme and take out homes and wildlife. So I'm hoping it's not that extreme and we pray for the people of Halifax for sure. But I uh, just wanted to give you guys that quick update because it made me so nervous this morning. I almost skipped my coffee. Uh. the Halifax Public Gardens. So we're gonna kind of explore. We got off the ship, we're now in Halifax, Nova Scotia, and we're gonna explore. So as you can see, it's beautiful and blue. We don't smell any smoke here, which means a lot of that has gone out to sea. There are certain parts of Halifax that are still under heavy wildfire right now. Um, but it, this garden is absolutely beautiful. It actually almost reminds me a bit of the Boston Public Gardens. Just really, Beautiful, and the birds are so confident here, which means I think these little birdies get tons of snacks, but check out some of the beautiful things here in the garden. Apparently this park and the waterfront was damaged very heavily from Hurricane Juan back in 2003, but there's been a lot of effort and funds that have gone into restoring the park and of course the waterfront as well. And I mean, now it just looks beautiful. Right, did a good job. Wow, he stayed in character like you would not believe. Welcome to the oh, Citadel. Welcome to the this is the highest point, I believe, right in Halifax. Yes. I, uh, a little bit I'm of history. To learn some history here, huh? Right, of uh, oh. early British colony here in Canada, right? Yes. Oh, you can kind of go through all the different. Oh yeah. It's cool in here. Ooh, so we're walking into one of the guard rooms where they guarded the prisoners. Look, ooh, that bed actually has a cot on it. So this one is for the elite prisoners in here. <laughs> <laughs> What was down there? It's like a, it was like a garrison. Of, it was basically a cannon. Oh. Down there. And then uh, there's also some cells as well. So I guess if you get out of your cell, you got a long way to try to get out of this pit to, to get to safety, <laughs> right? To get to your freedom.
Well, that was interesting. There were actually cannons in the rooms, what I thought were cells. It said garrison cells one and two. If you know what those are and they use that, let us know in the comments below. We certainly appreciate it. Now the British actually built this fort and really the, um, the defense of Halifax as a counterbalance against France in the New World. And an interesting fact is that this fort was never attacked in its whole history. So um, it is incredibly well preserved here and you can just see the incredible defensive structure around here and just the, the cannons all around and uh, heavily fortified so no one's ever attacked it. I will tell you, they can definitely see the fortress part of this. It's definitely like a fortress that would probably be very intimidating to yes. most of their enemies, which is probably why it's never been touched. It was just right. too like well protected. High point, incredibly fortified. Yeah, so like, forget it. You know, like the mountain lions, they had to attack from the highest point, get to the higher ground. Yeah, people probably, they probably just went around it. <laughs> That's a good point. Just avoid it. Just avoid it. But look at this, Dave. Look, look. This I know. Big old fort. Big old fort. Keep a big circle. Oh, it's a good fort. There it is. Look at that all around. <laughs> but with a store. So I'm going to check out. Oh, yeah. Got to go to the store. Exit through the gift shop. And walk all the way around this citadel all the way around so that's what we're probably gonna do we're gonna walk all the way around see if we can capture it's like one gigantic so we actually just came down to play some slots uh, expecting to come into the casino and see the slot machines humming. But what we didn't realize is that when you're in port or in Halifax right now, because we're in Halifax, actually all the slot machines are disabled. So apparently we didn't realize the rules, but when you're in a port like this, apparently we won't be gambling. But once we're out at sea, we can hit the slot machines. Good morning, good morning. So, as we're kind of heading back, we're now on the starboard side, so we'll get a nice sunset. Last time we were able to kind of get uh, the sunrise. And it's interesting, because on the starboard side this morning, we're out here having some coffee, and I'm hoping to see that while I'm talking to you guys, but there were whales out here. There were a couple of whales, just kind of, you saw their humps kind of coming up and, and under. And it was super cool. They were kind of, and one looked like it was actually swimming with the boat, because you saw it come up over so often, but it was still close to the boat. So that was so cool. But look. Can you see him? Do you see any whales in that direction? Let's see if we spot some whales. They're kind of just hanging out with the boat. Checks to make sure you're of legal age to drink, and then you can create a new drink. They have recommendations that they have on the chart, but I'm gonna actually go with a Bionic Signature. Clone me, Bionic Signature, alcoholic. Hmm. I'm gonna have, and it gives you like ratings, like five stars, four stars. I'll have a... Bionic Smash. 
We're going for a bionic smash. And because we have a drink package, the cost for us is nothing right now. But it shows you the different parts that they have in there. Ice, triple sack. Boom. It's good. Check out. It's sending the owner to the arm. Now, the only thing about this for us is it's too precise. With a good bartender, he might be a little extra heavy on that rum pour. But with the bionic bar, it's going to be pretty precise. Yes, so welcome to the Tides Bar. We're gonna have a cocktail on the Tides Bar. We're gonna, right. it's about a 30 minute ride. It leaves in about five minutes. All right, might be a little bumpy. Might be a little bumpy. Might be a little turbulence. And right now we're in low tide. Excellent, okay. And we'll be at high tide pretty soon. I'm excited. There we go, I'm ready for a ride, a little Disney ride. A little Disney ride. Here on the cruise ship. <laughs> You know, it's actually pretty nice. I'm thinking if you're gonna go high tide, I just feel like, I don't know, it just feels like an espresso martini kind of vibe. Lift off to the stars. <laughs> <laughs> Dave and I are right now down here on deck five. It's a kind of a sea day for us. We're having Starbucks coffee with okay. these beautiful views right here. But we're not just down here on deck five to look at these views. We're also down here on deck five to get our morning walk in because on deck five, they have a track, a jogging walking track that pretty much goes from the front to the back. I guess you would say the bow and the alt. <laughs> That's <laughs> right. Of, is that what it's called? What's the term? I don't the know. Bow what and alt, starboard and port, which is left and right, the bow and the alt, front and back, something like that. Is that right? That. right? I think I that's right, that. maybe. <laughs>
hot job. Just had to. Took us the last day to get in, but this is probably the warmest day we've had so yeah. far. So I'm pretty excited about relaxing for all FC. Exactly. exactly. For the crashy winter. Here. The whirlpool water flowing over sounds like it's crashing on the outside. Yeah, that's, that's cool. We have a nice view of the ocean, uh, like cruising by. No, it was interesting because I, I believe we made quite a few rookie mistakes. I'm sure we made a lot of rookie cruiser mistakes. We did. Right, like like the uh, book those excursions early, man, because they fill up. Book, yeah. That's one of the simple ones right yeah. there, right? Easy. I mean, they were filling up as we were looking at the app. Oh, it's crazy. I was like, whoa. So now I guess you should. The, I guess the uh, the key is to book them days, maybe even a month in advance. Don't just wait till the day of the trip. Rookies! <laughs> <laughs> 